Hello and welcome to MS YouTube POCO Edition. I'm Julie and I'm Kapika. Let's get started. Oh, but first, let's take a look at some HOKO footage. Has been one of the most violent sports in history. And although we're past the era where players intentionally try to injure each other, the sport is still not considered safe for athletes. Fun fact, concussions and legal lawsuits against the NFL have been a really hot topic right now. And we're gonna show you why. On the 26, he'll get a shot at it. Whoa! Here's the hit. Oh. And this is, oh, what a nail! Even though CTE was diagnosed in the brains of 99% of deceased NFL players who donated their brains for research, the NFL still only has one response. Concussion protocol. Concussion protocol. Concussion protocol. Now, concussion protocol. Now, concussion protocol. Now, concussion protocol. Concussion protocol. But the concussion protocol alone may not be enough to save these athletes from deteriorating mental health in the long term. And that is due to a disease known as CTE. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy, also known as CTE, is a neurodegenerative disease which means that it results in death of neurons within the brain. Since the neurons usually cannot replace themselves, CTE can result in progressive deterioration of the brain. This can result in symptoms ranging from headaches, dizziness, depression, and even suicidal thoughts. The high-speed collisions involving the head area that occur while playing football cause the brain to vibrate within the skull and stretch as it moves. This causes the cells within the brain to stretch as well and leads to the buildup of a protein called tau. Now, this protein normally helps maintain the shape of the cell but when a nerve cell gets damaged, tau begins to clump up and this can lead to the death of the neuron. CTE in athletes has an onset age of typically around 43 years and although this onset is believed to occur around 8 years following retirement, athletes have still reported symptoms at the time of their retirement. 978432, those digits, tell me what they are. 978432. 978. At the time when CTE was first discovered, there was a widely presumed link between concussions and the development of CTE later in life. But further research has shown no clear relationship between these symptoms caused by a concussion and the development of CTE. It is now being discovered that repeated hits to the head, regardless of whether they cause concussions or not, are putting athletes at a risk of CTE. A study analyzed the brain of 24 athletes following subconcussive head injuries and reported long term changes in the structure of the brain associated with these hits. Over the middle, and oh. out of the pocket, throws. His throws the middle, what a shot by Lewis. Another study exposed mice to repeated head trauma, which stimulated the hits experienced by football players and found early signs of CTE in the brains of these mice, regardless of whether these hits caused concussion symptoms or not. Watch the collision that comes up. Jefferson Speed gets Damage to the brain due to these hits begins early, even if symptoms may not appear until later in life. A study examined brains of four individuals between 17 and 18 year old who passed away from sports related head injuries and found signs of CTE in the brains of each of these athletes. Research is now finding that playing tackle football may be even more dangerous for kids than initially thought. By examining over 250 former players who donated their brains for research, a study found that beginning to play tackle football one year earlier can accelerate the behavioral changes associated with CTE by around 2.5 years. The same study also states that playing tackle football before the age of 12 predicts an earlier onset of behavioral and mood symptoms of CTE by over 13 years. New research surrounding CTE is now causing a number of NFL players to prevent their children from following the same path. 
Um, like my kid, my, my sons are not gonna play football. I no, no. Um, I won't encourage my son, but I will support. To prevent CTE from occurring, in theory, would involve preventing repeated trauma to the head. And the most apparent way to do that is to avoid contact sports in general. How do you make the game safer? You don't play. You have different owners of teams uh, openly say that it's ridiculous that we're linking CTE in football, that <laughs> our game is safe. It's not. Future research surrounding CTE will shed more light on the nature of this debilitating disease and ways to prevent it. But for now, contact sports like tackle football may be leading our youth towards disaster. That's all for today. Thank you for joining us on this episode of MSU2. Make sure to like and subscribe below. See you next time!